Say cheddar. <laughs> there you are, Mr. J. In just 60 seconds, you'll be smiling up at yourself. Look, Bentley, I don't have time to pose for snapshots. I'm just bringing over my camera. Mrs. Jefferson asked if she could borrow it for your trip. Oh, that's great, thanks. And thank you for walking on my back this morning. As usual, it did the trick. <laughs> you have magic feet, Mr. J. <laughs> yeah, I played soul music on your slip disc. <laughs> Benny brought his camera over. Oh, thank you. Are you sure you don't mind? Oh, not a bit. Just be sure to bring me back a picture of that dear old Mark Hopkins. Look, Benny, we won't have time to visit all your buddies. <laughs> the Mark Hopkins is a hotel, George. I knew that. <laughs> yes, four of the most fabulous days of my life. Frisco and Frederica. Ah, Frederica. A girl with a wonderful one-track mind. Oh, oh, oh Mr. <laughs> Bentley. Oh, no, I mean she was crazy about cable cars. We rang the bell all weekend. Hey, this gonna look like me. This is some big, fat white guy. Oh, that's my finger. I keep putting it in front of the lens. I'm sorry. Would you like some coffee? Oh, no, thank you. I've got to go. The Lebanese problem again, I'm afraid. Oh, that would drive me crazy if I had a job like yours at the United Nations. All those countries arguing and fighting. Oh, this isn't at the UN. It's downstairs in the garage. In the what? I'm having a problem again with Mr. Babaki and the Lebanese gentleman who parks next to me. What kind of problem? Dings. What's dings? Oh, dings are caused by dunches. Oh, I see. What's dunches? A <laughs> uh, dunch is, uh... Well, it's when someone parks too close to you, and when he gets out, he hits your car with his door. Dunch. <laughs> which makes a dent, which leaves a ding. So the Dunch's dents have damaged your door with dings. I think she's got it. You mean this guy keeps hitting your car? Yes, I've tried phoning him about it, but he just hangs up on me. So I wrote him a rather nice letter, but he never replied. Then uh, there's only one thing left to do. And what's that? Take him to Knuckle City. <laughs> George, that's terrible advice. Oh, I don't think I could do it anyway, Mrs. Jefferson. See, that's what's wrong with you, Billy. You're too nice. But don't you think problems should be settled by peaceful negotiation? Of course I do. That's what I'm saying. You just walk up to Babaki and you say, look, stop putting things in my car. And if he says no, you put a dunch on his head. <laughs> I thought a dunch was something you did with donuts and coffee. <laughs> hey, ain't you got some last minute packing to do? Oh, how nice, Florence. You're going to San Francisco, too, eh? Oh, not me, Mr. Bentley. Only rich bosses get to make them kind of exciting trips. <laughs> People in lowly positions like me just have to stay behind and do the scrubbing. Florence! Yes, ma'am, I'm packing. <laughs> and I'm gonna put two bottles of aspirin in for your flight. Flying doesn't give me a headache. I know, but listening to him will. <laughs> Mr. Bentley, don't listen to George. Violence isn't the answer to anything. All right, look, so you don't have to hit Babaki. Just act like you might hit him. By Jove, I'm going to try that. I'll march angrily up to his door. Good. I'll knock on it very angrily. Good. And then when he opens the door... You'll start talking polite again. <laughs> How did you guess? <laughs> OK, so here's what you do. You just write a real tough note and stick it on his windshield wiper. Oh, good idea. Something really strong, like, uh, dear sir, I wonder if you'd be kind enough to please refrain from... If this is the way you guys talk at the United Nations, no wonder the world's in a mess. Come here. <laughs> See, Bentley, first you got to get his attention, right? So I'm going to give you this, and I want you to put this on his windshield wiper. And I guarantee you all your troubles will be over. <laughs> well, thank you. Here. Dear Turkey, stop busting my car door or I'm gonna jump on your hood and go upside your head. Isn't that a little strong coming from Mr. Bentley? He's gotta be strong, Weezy. Well, you're right, but... No buts, Bentley. It's about time you stop letting people push you around. 